As you can see, it is signed. It just needs to be delivered on a Saturday at the Dr. Mulemela Stadium. That is the Epso Premiership Trophy that has been won, of course, by Mamilodi Sundowns. And speaking of Mamilodi Sundowns, we are, of course, joined by the assistant development coach of Mamilodi Sundowns as well as Veli Lembuli. Now, when you look at this surprise, you've been here before. How does it feel? It, it feels good. It feels good, especially when... Uh, you go all the way, especially from the beginning of the season until the, the, the end of the season, uh, yeah. fighting for, for, for this trophy with uh, also Pirates ma not making things easy for yeah. you. So it, it feels good. It feels good because, they, uh, as they say, uh, it, when, especially when you work hard, at yeah. the end of the, 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 the day, you have to be rewarded. And you if you get rewarded with this, and it, it, it's amazing. And I'm, I'm really happy for the players and everyone. Now, speaking of these rewards, a lot of people are saying, OK, fine, uh, Mamilodi Sundowns have got the money, have got this. But at the end of the day, if we look at it, Mamilodi Sundowns have got the depth. Now, you are the assistant coach when it comes to the development side. Does this mean that Mamilodi Sundowns are now going to get to a point where year after year, they are literally going to become the new team to beat? Yeah, I think, I think especially for, for Coach Pete, so as he said before, that uh, winning the league, it has to be standard because he's looking at uh, uh, KEF championship. Yeah. Yeah. So if he wants to be in the Champions League, you have to either win the league or come second. So for him, it's, it, it, it's standard for him, So which, which means that the, the, he has raised the bar. For, for everyone, he said, no, I'm here, catch me if you can. And, and, and the, obviously, you see Pirates this season, they've really worked hard and make yeah. sure that they make things difficult, which I'm impressed about yeah. the work that uh, Coach uh, Rulani and, and, Micho. and Micho are doing. So yeah. it's going to be very interesting next season. Speaking of uh, very interesting, now, in 2007, you had a very interesting uh, encounter where Barcelona were in the country and you got to score against them. Now, when you heard, obviously you work at Sundowns, you probably heard before all of us, <laughs> <laughs> but when you heard that Barcelona come into the country again, what was going through your mind? Yeah, the, the, the memory came, came back and yeah. I could vividly... Uh, uh, remember the game because uh, it was it was it, it came as, as 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 if it was it was yesterday. Yeah. Because it was a, a big game for for us as players and obviously with everybody that was associated with Mamelodi Sundowns yeah. and obviously with the supporters or South African football lovers. So it it, it it was really a good feeling and and I'm happy for that they are coming back again and yeah. I know that the, the 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 players especially at Sundowns they are looking forward. To, to see how far they are compared to the to, to, to the players on the uh, like Messi and Suarez. Yeah. yeah. Now Veli in two thousand and seven we had the likes of your Samuel Eto, your Ronaldinho. Now this time around we're gonna have your Iniestas, your Messi's, your Suarez is coming, or that's what we are anticipating more than anything. What's the latest? Because there's been so much around this, no they are coming, no they're not coming, it's on the fifteenth, no, it's back to the sixty. Mm -hmm. What's the story? Yeah, and I think it's also going to be interesting for Iniesta because even back then he played swan against him. Song. It's a swan song for him. Yeah. Um, previously the deal was was that he's going to China, but now it has since been confirmed that he's going to Japan. Yeah. So this is also the venue where he also scored that solitary goal in that um, final as well. Yeah. Man of the match yes. um, in, 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 in that final. Against La Oranya. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so I understand, uh, but I will not take the shine from the club <laughs> uh, and also President Mutsite, uh, because a press conference has been called for tomorrow, yes. um, half past 12, at yeah. Centen Convention Center, but I understand that there are some positive developments ah. um, around this game. And um, because the issue was also around, you remember on the same day, Olympic Marseille is playing against um, a, another uh, Spanish team, Atletico Madrid, yeah. and that game, um, I think it's starting at 20.45 yes. on the day. So yes. Barcelona is a, is a big team yeah. globally. Yeah. And this game will also be broadcast globally, you know. So they didn't want to have that competition. So yeah. it looks like the game now could be kicking off two hours before. Ah. Uh, that is the sundowns and uh, Barcelona game. But we will leave everything um, to those who will be confirming. But as, as, as in terms of confirmations, CAF have already given the go-ahead, PSL has given the go-ahead, and now you're saying UEFA has also said all systems go. It looks like. It hmm. looks like. Because with football things, sometimes you've got to be very careful 
uh, with confirming things that well, and we and we told that uh, uh, President Patrice Matsipe was there at the camp, no watching El Clasico. So that's that's good. Sign. That's why I'm saying I don't want to take away their shine. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, when you go to a press conference, you want to keep that exclusivity. Yes. But uh, I know that my colleagues at SABC News they've been on top of the story, yeah. particularly Tabiso Stole. Yes. And uh, I understand that they've got um, their ears. To the ground. Yeah, right on the ground on this one. Hence, I'm saying there's some positive developments, uh, but not Tuesday, Wednesday. On Wednesday, so it sticks to Wednesday. Let's quickly go back to the Absa Premiership, uh, the relegation battle. You know, everyone is talking around the IX Cape Town matter. <sighs> <laughs> IX Cape Town, James. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, I have to declare. Yeah. I have to declare, uh, and I would let Surprise deal with uh, all the other technical issues. Okay. Because I've been following this case uh, from arbitration to the High Court, and yeah. and this case is still raging. Eh? Yeah. Uh, I understand um, that there's been another development this week. Yeah. A different arbitrator has been appointed. Okay. Um, to listen to this case. Yes. Uh, remember, right here on this set, last week, uh, on Saturday, we did discuss that Orlando Paris has pulled out yes. uh, because they were one of the parties. But they've pulled out now because they it really... Them no yeah, they, they don't have an interest in this case yeah. anymore. It would not make a difference even if they get that three points back. But now there's a different um, arbitrator that has been appointed, and it looks like this case could be listened to on Friday. This Friday? This coming Friday. Okay, so we need to make it fast so that should everything be concluded on Saturday, we don't yes. hold off the playoffs. Exactly. And also, by the time the teams go to the games on Saturday, mm. they know what they want, you know? But also there's a possibility. If there's another aggrieved party uh, from the, that, the ruling on Friday, they could still go oh, to Cass. Yeah. Oh, gosh, yeah. Mm. This matter is just... Okay, let's go back to how things are sitting in terms of the points, the matters at hand. They are the team that is just above Platinum Stars. Surprise, in your position or in, in your opinion, especially from a coaching perspective, what do you think Mushin Etugral needs to do to make sure that come Saturday they literally get those three points because they're quite crucial at this point in time? Uh, as a coach, when you're sitting, there's nothing more that you can do. It's up to the players because they know what is at stake, especially as their the last game. Yeah. So they know that for them to, to, to be safe, they have to win. So as a coach, you just have to do your tactics and, and make sure that on the day, you leave it up to the, to, to the players because it's, it's, it's up to them. Because if they don't, if they don't win, yeah. they go to the playoffs. And it's going to be difficult in the playoffs because you've got Leopards, you've got Cosmos. Both teams who've been in the PSL and want to come back. They want to come back. So yeah. it's going to be very, very interesting, especially in the playoff. But <clears throat> there is the matter of the fact that they're playing Kaiser Chiefs, a team that don't want to lose their last game either, really. I was following a story because a colleague of mine was at uh, Etikamva today, mm. uh, Rob Delport, and Mushin Echigral there, uh, remember he's coached uh, Patrick Mabedi and they won the um, CAF Cup together early in, I think, 2001, and also he was the assistant. So they s sort of know each other yeah. uh, and what to expect. Yeah. And also, Coach Mushin, he also talks about the games that he's seen. Remember, Chiefs has been this team that has plays with the 3-4-3 that turns into a 3-5-2. Mm -hmm. But now, if you notice in their last game, they adopted a 4-4-2 system. Yeah. Uh, so Coach Mushin talks about coming with a totally different approach. Mm. But it's also positive um, that he can topple um, Chiefs. But I, I also Mara feel... on the last day, though. That's Isn't the thing. Tricky? That's the thing. Yeah. That's the thing. And also, it's not like Chiefs is just going to be sleeping mm. there, waiting. Mm. Because remember, under Steve Kombela, Chiefs has never finished higher than the fourth spot. Yeah. So for them to finish third and qualify for Kev Confed, it's more like a better season yeah. than what they've been having previously. Okay, let's talk about the team that I know Vilil is waiting for me to talk about. Super Sports United. I'm interested why you wanted to talk about it. No, no, no. I'm interested why you wanted to talk about it. Especially Super Sport, where they are sitting now, it's, it's, it's very, very dangerous. But. Um, they, they've got everything in their hand because yeah. they are playing uh, Baroka. Baroka. 
which they know that if they beat Baroka, they are safe. Baroka know that if they get beaten, they are not safe yeah. either. So, so I think on, 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 on these issues, everybody has his own fate in, in his hands. You see, the tricky part here, yeah. the tricky part is that for Baroka, a draw is enough. Yes. But not for super sport. Yes. Because one of the things we were discussing with Surprise earlier was the goal difference factor mm. yeah. is, mm. is a problem here. Because as things stand, uh, Ike's Cape Town has got a better goal difference compared to super sport. Yes. Mm. Um, which is minus five for minus five, Ajax yes. It is and minus, five. minus, minus six, six for United. For, 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 for United. Yeah. So if Ajax wins, even by a single goal, you know, if Ajax win by a single goal margin and Supersport draws, Supersport is out. Mm. Hey! So th this, this is a problem. Yeah. Yeah. And, and look at the time when Supersport considered. Mm. Against Chipa. Against Chipa. Yes. But also look at the time when Baroka also considered. Mm. But also there's the Dr. Kumalo factor here. Mm. Because he's been brought in to save Baroka yeah. for these last two matches. Yeah. And there's always been this talk that give Dr. Kumalo a chance. Yes. Mm. So he needs to make sure that Bar Baroka is saved because they were in the playoffs yeah. uh, last, last season, season and they might not be as lucky mm. as last season as now last in the season. playoffs. They definitely will not be, you know, it's, it, it's a tricky one because when you're playing a team that you need to cancel each other mm. out in, mm. you can't play safe, but at the same time, you can't be you know, go all aggressive because everyone knows that being too aggressive, you, you run the risk of conceding goals. Okay. So you can't go on an all-out attack. So what's the best strategy? Uh, I think especially for, for, for Baroque, it's very dangerous because if they go for a draw, yeah. the, the, that will be the biggest mistake that mm -hmm. they will do. Mm -hmm. Because if you go for a draw and, and super sport has to go all out yeah. mm -hmm. because they can't go for a draw. Yeah. So it, it will be di di very, very dangerous for Baroga. They have to go for a win. Mm -hmm. If they don't win, then a draw will be enough. Because, because if, if, if really, 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 it, it's going to be tough. Gentlemen, we've spoken about Baroka FC, we've spoken about Supersport United, we've also spoken about Ajax Cape Town. There's Bulukwani City that's also in the mix. But the thing about Bulukwani City, they can only drop down to 15 if Ajax and Supersport win their games and they lose against Chipa United. So, yes, their fate is in their hands, but it's also up to other people to do, not do them a favour sort of situation. And it's also interesting because I saw earlier today, maybe in a way of trying to lift the spirits of the team yeah. and also just the fans around Pulukwane as well, um, there will be free entrance uh -huh. um, at the Peter Mukaba Stadium. You need the 12th man. Exactly. Yeah. You know, uh, but they are playing against Chipai. Mm. And um, remember that coach, Vladislav uh, Herich, yes. he wants to keep that job yeah. and maybe even there's a bonus for him. Yes. Um, Chipa wants to finish in the top eight. They're not guaranteed that finish yet, yeah. but they need to win this game, yeah. you know? So, and I think they've only finished once in the top eight. This was under Den Dens Malisela. So it's not like Chipa is just going to go there, you know? And play dead. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the problem um, for, <coughs> for Pulukwane. And also they've been conceding a lot of goals. I was talking to one of the guys at, uh, at Pulukwane this week, and he says, ever since they lost Walter Maponyane, mm -hmm. and they've not been the same team, they've been considering goals. So for them, it's not an easy situation at all. It is definitely not an easy situation, but I just quickly need to go back to Baroka. I just got a question um, <laughs> that is asked with regards to Baroka. Beginning of the season, high flying, top of the log. Mm -hmm. End of the season, literally fighting relegation. What happened? I think I think they, their start really helped them to be where they are because if they didn't start well, yeah, maybe they will be even even further down there. Yeah. So I think I think they've started well and and uh, somewhere along the way you could see that uh, the wheels were coming off a little bit. But the way they started, they really they really did well. Mm -hmm. I I think in my opinion, but I don't know where did they, they they lose it because they were coming right they were on top there yeah. but you know when 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 the league start to after 5 6 7 8 games then the leagues everybody starts to settle yeah. and everybody knows each other playing uh, planning for each other and that's where teams start to see how they play and and, and manage to make sure that uh, they collect points against them but how they start i think it really helped them a lot i'm going to put you on the spot individually <laughs> <laughs> Who's facing Black Leopards and Jomo Cosmos? 
Hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, yeah, yeah. I have to ask this question. <laughs> we can't talk about the relegation and put out all the points, but not say you could okay. Me na mang pegi the situation. I laba ba ya hamb or laba mele balwe. And please don't bring in the arbitration matter, AIX. Uh, We're I'm talking surprised. on the field, not boardroom uh, politics. I'm <laughs> Surprise! Oh, la kela da sabas. Yeah, when la kela da sabas, it's getting more. It's difficult. It's difficult. It's difficult to 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 decide who's who's gonna go down. What about Twitter? No, no, no. It's it's, it's really it's really difficult. But uh, I think one thing I know is that whoever goes down uh, to go play uh, the, In playoffs, the playoffs, yeah, uh, they will have to blame themselves because everybody is relying is relying on himself. You don't need a favor anyway. Ajax have to win their game. And then uh, 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 Baroka Mara, has you're not to answering win. my question. No, I don't want to. You're putting me on the spot. You're putting me on the spot. Very <laughs> uh, For me, it's difficult. It's no difficult. way. No, it's difficult. Because for me, I had declared mm. that uh, because I've been attending these cases, yes. you know, from arbitration uh, to the high court and... I can I, I can see where the merits of the case are going. Yeah. So it is difficult for me to look into this last weekend just as purely a matter of 90 minutes on Saturday. Okay. No, I refuse. Okay. So it's a boardroom situation, according it, to you. Most definitely. Most definitely. And it could even extend um, beyond this month. Yeah. And even next month. Wait, if you're Put, saying that... Putting in doubt even the playoffs. I was going to say, mm. if we're putting the playoffs in doubt, that means then the next season might not even start when it's yeah. meant to start. Yeah. Anything is possible. And that will be f unfair for football. That will be very unfair very, for football. Very, very unfair. But coming back, you're talking about the merits of this case. I'm going to quickly come back slightly to it. The fact that when you look at the points as a FIFA, mm -hmm. a player cannot be signed... To, cannot represent uh, three teams in official matches yeah. in one season. Mm -hmm. Why is it that we've been at this point? Because everything is there in black and white. What are we arguing here? Hey, it's tricky because um, the previous arbitrator, um, who advocate Nasir Kasim, yes. he had ruled that. Uh, remember the DRC had ruled that Ndoro is eligible to play. Yes, and then. I, I continued to play him. Yeah. But then um, Advocate Kasim said, no. You can't. You, 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 ca you, ca you cannot play. Yeah. Um, the DRC doesn't have jurisdiction of the, over this matter. Mm -hmm. Let this go to FIFA. Yes. You know? And FIFA, and FIFA is responding to say, no, South Africa has got competent uh, football uh, platforms to deal with this matter. Yeah. PSL again went back, and then this matter is back here. It was also in court, and Ajax lost twice in court, and now. We're going back to this arbitration, and already in court, Ajax uh, legal representatives, yeah. uh, led by advocate Norman Arense, have already said, if there's an aggrieved party um, from the process that is starting now, yeah. one of, of those parties could go all the way to the Court of Arbitration for Sport. Oh, God, yeah, and sure. it's not like the Court of Arbitration for Sport in Paul is waiting for this case to come in now and yeah. decide on yes, it. Yes, yes, yes. They can yes. Decide, okay, let's go to July. Yes. Sit in love. Mm. I, you know what, guys, I guess on Saturday we'll be watching everything closely, not just what is happening on the field of play, but as you said, might even be concluded on Friday, and then we see what happens then. But it, it's a... Very interesting end to the end uh, to the APSA uh, Premiership this season, and I'm definitely looking forward to Saturday. Thank you so much, gents. Thank you. Thank you very much.